Hello guys, my name is Balakrishna Shavastra and welcome to Code with PK. So in this video, we write a Java program to calculate the LCM of two integers. So before we begin, it is a request to please, 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 please subscribe to my channel because out of 100 viewers, only one or two are subscribed and a subscription is very important. So please, 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 please do subscribe to my channel. So let's begin. So we need to calculate the LCM of two integers. Okay. So if we look at the examples for a equal to 10 and b equal to 20, we get LCM as 20 because it is the lowest common multiple for both 10 and 20. Okay. Similarly for 3 and 5, the LCM is 15 and for 9 and 21, the LCM is 63. Okay. So if you remember, finding out LCM was a very standard method. You find the prime factors of each integer, you get the common prime factors and then you find the LCM. Okay. But in this case, we use a shorter method using this formula that HCF and LCM of two integers is equal to the product of A and B, which implies that LCM of A and B is equal to product of A and B by HCF of A and B. So if we are able to find the HCF of A and B, which is the highest common factor or greatest common divisor, we can find the LCM of A and B because finding the product is very simple. Okay. So I am going to first write a method to find the HCF of A and B. Okay. And I've already posted a dedicated video that explains how to find the HCF of two integers. In that I've explained how to find HCF using a brute force method and the optimized Euclidean method. Okay. So here we are going to use the Euclidean method. Okay. And I will add the link of that video in the description. So you can check it out. So finding out HCF using Euclidean method, it's a very simple code. You say if a equal to zero, you return B. Okay. Otherwise you call this function recursively you pass b percent a then a. okay and this will give you the hcf of these two integers a and b and it's a very optimized fast method the complexity for this is o log min of a comma b okay and if you use the brute force method you get complexity as o min of a and b which is much lower than this okay we have the hcf and we can calculate lcm using this formula but before that let's find the hcf of these Okay, okay, so I'll say HCF, 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 and I comment this out. So let me run this for these statements. Okay, so compiling, running. Okay, for 10 and 20, HCF is 10, for 3 and 5, HCF is 1, for 9 and 21, HCF is 3, for 35 and 14, HCF 7, and for 10 and 18, HCF is 2. This comment. Okay, so now we comment this out, uncomment this out. Okay, and we need to complete this LCM method. So we simply say return A into B by hcf of a comma b all right compiling again running again 10 and 20 has lcm 20 3 and 5 has lcm 15 9 and 21 has lcm 63 35 14 has lcm 70 and 10 18 has lcm 90 okay so let me add a couple of more cases so i'll say maybe i have 88 okay and 40 and similarly, I will have 52 and 78. Okay, I'll say 88. Running this now, compiling, running. Okay, 52 and 78 is 156. 78 2 is 52 3 is 80 and 40 is 440. 88 5 is 40. 11 is okay. And similarly for previous case. Okay, so let me add a few more cases by generating random numbers. I'll say random random equal to new random okay and i need to do import java.util.random okay create a random object and for say 10 times okay generate a random integer a okay and i'll say it is between 1 and 100 okay similarly generate random integer b okay and then we find out the lcm of a and B plus so we can also print the HCF of this. Okay, HCF of A and B is let's see. And change a line after each case. And I will comment out these cases. Okay. So let me run this. So what this is going to do is going to run this loop 10 times. In each iteration, it will give me two values A and B, which are going to be between 1 and 100. Okay. Using the random object, and then I print the HCF of a and b and then i print the lcm all right so compile run 
okay let's see for 999 hcf is 9 and lcm is 99 okay which is okay 3389 hcf is 1 so the lcm is the product similarly att29 has hcf as 1 lcm as product right so you can see most of the cases we have hcf as 1 okay for 2818 hcf is 2 for 568 hcf is 8 all right so i will add 10 more cases compile run okay for 74 45 it is hcf is 1 for this hcf is 4 okay for this hcf is 4 okay and for all the cases for the remaining cases we have hcf 1 okay so this was the solution to find the lcm of two integers and you should always remember this and you should always be using this method because this is shorter okay you can easily remember this code and you can also easily remember this code okay so i hope this video was helpful you like this video so if you like this video if you found this helpful please 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 do subscribe to my channel and if there was something that you did not like about this video please just don't press the dislike button please also let me know in the comments what was it that you did not like about this video so that i can improve on my further videos you can also let me know in the comments if there's a question you want to solve or if there's a concept you want to discuss thank you